Hi there guys, uh, I got enough time to come out for a quick overnighter. Um, only place I had time to get to was uh, Tanis Hatch Youth Hostel in Surrey Hills. Camped here a number of times um, and without a permission uh, to go to a private woodland, um, this is my sort of stomping ground, this is where I practice skills if I don't have time to go out uh, somewhere a bit further afield. So we're here, uh, the youth hostel's empty, it's been raining all day, we've had a hike, um, I've been walking for a couple of hours and uh, I've got to the youth hostel and it's empty, there's no one here. So I've collected a bit of wood, I need to get a shelter up and then we're going to get some steak cooking. We're just going to have a chill out. I've broken up from my work um, for the school holidays so I've got a bit of time and I'm just going to chill out and enjoy being in the woods. Uh, full disclosure, this is a youth hostel campsite, it's not the wilderness, um, it's not far from roads, there's a, a youth hostel over there and some canvas tents people can rent out, and families come and camp, things like that. However, it's a really nice place to come for a little bit of a short relaxing camp out. Um, I've got some new gear to try, I'm trying a new bivy and a micro tarp from Alp Kit, uh, the Rig 3.5. So I'm going to get that set up in a minute and uh, try it out. It has been raining on and off all day, everything's wet, uh, so it's going to be a bit of fun getting a fire going and doing some cooking. So I hope you enjoy this video. So as you can see, the tarp's set up behind me. I've gone for a sort of flying A-frame uh, sort of design. It'll give me some coverage, cover my kit, and give me a nice dry area to work. But at the same time, I can see uh, the woodland, see the countryside and things. It should be a really comfortable camp. Uh, I need to put my bivy bag out. Um, the campsite is on a bit of a slope, so I'm glad I brought a ground sheet. Um, but it won't be a problem tonight. Um, I need to clear out the fire pit because we've got some green wood left by other campers. And then I need to get some firewood and start the fire. So here we have another new bit of kit. This is the uh, Snug Pack SF Bivy. So this is going to go underneath my tarp as my uh, waterproof cover for my sleeping bag and as my ground sheet. So let's get this put in. Next up we have my Thermares Neo Air X-Therm. Um, is going to give me some insulation from the ground. Really comfortable night's sleep this is. So here we have my sleep system, we have a bivy bag, a thermo rest, a sleeping bag with a silk liner. Now I've used this system down to about minus four, minus five degrees um, with this sleeping bag so I know I'm going to be very warm um, tonight and it's going to be comfortable. Uh, we're predicting around a positive three to a zero degree night um, depending on different forecasts. So it should be really comfortable tonight.
So the heavens have opened since I last spoke to you. I've readjusted the tarp just to drop the front down slightly because I was having a little bit of wind come underneath and uh, I wasn't getting wet but my bag was. Um, we've had hail, uh, the temperature has dropped and we've had a complete deluge. This is actually lightened up now. It was ridiculously heavy and so everything is damp. Kept the fire going. I'm just hoping it will clear so I can cook my steak. Um, I'm going to put my waterproof cover on my bag because that got um, left out in the rain a little bit so I need to put that on and um, hopefully this lightens up and I can dry off my kit a little bit. Um, but yeah, to say it's raining is an understatement. Okay guys, it's still really raining and my camera is getting pretty soaked. So I'm going to have my steak and then put the camera up unless it gets nicer. If this is the last scene, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I look forward to getting out again soon. <laughs> well guys, it's finally stopped raining. Um, that was quite a deluge, um, but I've checked my sleeping kit. I had a minute bit of splashing um, coming in that was landing on the bivvy, so um, none of my actual sleeping equipment got wet. Um, but as a result, I dropped the tarp down a little bit and um, it worked. Throughout all of that rainstorm, the hail, um, my sleeping kit is perfectly dry. So I know I'm going to have a nice, comfortable night's sleep tonight. Um, fire, I kept it going. I came out and cooked my steak in the rain. I put my poncho on. Um, so actually, the only part of me is dry. That, uh, sorry, the only part of me that is wet is the... Uh, the, the end bit of my jacket um, which is waxed but after a sustained bit of rain um, it, the water comes through the wax um, but I have my poncho on covering the rest of me so I'm perfectly dry bar half a sleeve um, which is quickly drying out next to the fire um, so the, the tarp is only just big enough um, for my kit it, it covers me and with the bivy I'm perfectly dry and comfortable but it doesn't give you much of a living space out here so um, I still do definitely prefer having a larger tarp sorry if that cut off rather rapidly uh, my batteries seem to have died um, potentially they might have got wet um, as I was using my camera in the rain um, but as I was saying um, I do prefer having a larger tarp as this doesn't give you living space, it keeps your, uh, your sleeping kit dry and uh, keeps you dry but it doesn't give you much of a working space um, underneath. Uh, you just have to lie on your shelter and that's it, you can't really do anything under it. But that's fine, that's what this is for, it's minimalist and I like it um, and it worked. I'm, I'm dry and it, uh, all my kit is dry as well so um, good news. Um, as my camera is dying you probably won't see much more footage. Um, I'm going to get a very early night. Okay guys, this is going to be the last scene you, you see. Unfortunately my camera has completely died. I think it may have got a little bit wet as I was filming um, during that rainstorm. Um, I'm now using my phone uh, to record this final thing so apologies if the footage is not as good quality. Um, but I've had a brilliant time, I've had a nice steak. I managed to stay mostly dry. My kit is all dry and I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I'm really tired so I'm going to hit the sack really early, probably around 9 o'clock. I'm absolutely exhausted, it's been a busy term and I'm really looking forward to getting in my dry sleeping bag. Um, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more outdoor adventures uh, coming soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers guys, bye.